Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of I Talk Way Too Much. Uh, today I just wanted to touch on um, weight gain, weight loss and trusting the process. I think the the main thing that holds people back from making progress in their weight gain slash weight loss journey is that it takes time. I think people are impatient, myself included. I think it's just a natural, a natural thing. Um, and we want the results quickly because we put in the effort every day. We feel like we should see some results every day. You know, with most things in your life, if you put in some effort, you get to see some results fairly quickly. Unfortunately, with weight loss or with weight gain or muscle gain or however you want to define it, that isn't really the case. It takes consistency and it takes a lot of time to see the results. And for myself, I've been actively trying to put weight on for the last nine weeks. Um, a little bit longer, really, but I've been kind of weighing myself and, and kind of tracking my calories and my protein fairly um, consistently and fairly accurately for the last nine weeks and I put together a little graph um, which I'll, I'll bring up in a second to show my weight over the last nine weeks. I've weighed myself every four or five days. That's not necessarily the advice I would give to others but it's just something that I've done. Um, so I'll bring that little graph up and you can have a look. So as you can see, um, the first sort of three, four, five weeks of the the time I've been weighing my, myself, um, I pretty much stayed the same weight. I pretty much stayed at around about that 154, 155 pound mark. Um, and then I lost a little bit, and then I gained a little bit, and then I lost a little bit more, and then I gained quite a bit um, in, a, in a short period of time. It then plateaued out a little bit, and then since I've gained a little bit over a short period of time again. And the reason I think that's important to show is it just goes to show that weight gain or weight loss is not a linear thing. Progress is not always linear. There's always going to be little ups and little downs. And if you focus too much on the detail, if you zoom in too, too much, you're not going to see the bigger picture and you're not going to see that the process is actually working. So what I thought we would do is if we just kind of remove those, um, remove the numbers for a second and flip the graph around and use the same timeline, but in reverse. So imagining that I was losing weight over this period of time, you can see how this would cause a problem for somebody who is looking to lose weight and who is tracking their food and their calories and, and whatnot um, fairly consistently. And you can see how it would cause them to feel disheartened if they looked at it in too short of a time frame. So now that we flip the graph around, you can see, imagine you're, you're eating in a calorie deficit, which means you're probably going to be a little bit hungry depending on you know the foods that you're eating. And it's going to take you a little bit of time to get into that habit of, of kind of being quite vigilant with your food and being quite vigilant with your um, your diet and over the first month or so not only do you see very little progress you actually see that you can actually go backwards you put a little bit of weight on imagine if we um, if I just pop a little arrow in here imagine if I was to you know aim to to lose weight or someone was aiming to lose weight and over a month they not only pretty much stayed the same weight lost a little bit here and there but then actually gained a couple of pounds um, in a short period of time can you imagine if that person was to stop there if they gave up there and said you know what i've been i've been doing what i should be doing i've been doing what my pt or my coach has told us to do i've been following the rules i've been trying to 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 track my calories properly and it's just not working it clearly doesn't work and i've actually gained weight in that short period of time if they'd stopped there they would never have gotten that significant weight loss over the next few weeks that you can see from the graph and then even if they did continue and they did trust in the process they lose that couple of pounds and then the weight loss plateaus again, and it stays pretty much the same over the next sort of two or three weeks. Again, they may think, well, you know what, I put in six, seven weeks worth of effort, and I, okay, I've lost a couple of pounds, but clearly that's where my limit is. Um, clearly I'm not going to be able to lose more than that because, you know, I've done what I'm supposed to have done. Two months, coming up to two months is a long time to have been, you know, restricting my calories and my weight loss has plateaued again, so I'm going to stop now. If they'd done that, if they'd stopped at either of those two points, Look at all the extra kind of progress they could have made in the last two weeks of that journey um, that they would have kind of left on the table. So I thought that was a nice little illustration to show using my personal experience and kind of just, you know, looking at it from both points of view, um, why it is important to trust the process because it's not a linear thing. Progress is not always going to be from point A to point B in a nice, smooth, straight line. Trust what you're doing. Change what you're doing if it's not working. Don't get me wrong, but... If you know that you are tracking your calories properly, if you know that you are doing the things you're supposed to be doing and you're not seeing the progress, just take your time, take the pressure off a little bit, uh, speak to a professional, whether that be me or somebody else, that, uh, by all means, um, but trust in the process and you won't 
leave that. You know, the, the results will take care of themselves, I think is the way to think of it. If you trust in the process, the results will take care of themselves. If you do have any specific questions, then by all means reach out. But until next time, take it easy.